Hi, it's Tracy. G'day, and that's Elsie. And welcome to our global travels, where one and a half of us are going to show you how to have a great time anywhere in the world. Lots of food, adventures, fun things to see and do. Trains, planes and automobiles, whatever it is, we're going to have a go. So make sure you subscribe to our series. Have a great one. Bye. Here we are at the school. John's on stage doing some seminars for the children of the high school here in Orange. Amazing to be here. Love working with John on stage. Just helping out, doing the thing. I'm known as the transporter because I do a lot of kilometres when we're travelling. You can probably hear him in the background. What an awesome man he is, my husband. So very, very proud of him. More things will come along shortly because we're on the road for the next three weeks. So lots of fun destinations. Talk to you later. Couldn't help myself driving on the way to Scone and we pass this quaint little church. How gorgeous is it? Painted white. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at it. And it's at a little place called Gulma, nestled amongst the gum trees. How Australian is that? Well, here we are. We're at Scone Grammar School. How cool is this chair? Now, we've walked in because John's doing his seminars and talking to the kids today. Look at this chair. I mean, that's insane. This desk slides around like this. They've got places to put their little books or their backpacks. I've got to say, it's just awesome. I mean, check this out. We never had this. Oh, look, it spins. Love it. Unbelievable. Bye. Here we are in the middle of nowhere at Dropstone where we've just done a wonderful video of a gorgeous old church in our trusty car, our Hyundai, and she has done us proud. Look at this place. There's nothing sort of to see much here, but it's, it sort of takes your breath away because it's just so, so beautiful. I'm waiting on John to pick the horn behind me to frighten me. <laughs> right, guys, look, here we are at the lion enclosure and what you're looking at here are three beautiful female lions. Now, the white one down here is the mum and her name is Snow and she's actually a white lion. And for my generation, she's like Kimba, the white lion. And these other two are her daughters. And, and what are their names, Joe? We have Chitwa and Zuri. Chitwa and Zuri. And I've just been told by the wonderful zookeeper, Jody that they actually missed out on having the white lion gene in there. That's why they're that colour. But the white lion is slowly making a comeback in the wild. And isn't she just absolutely adorable? You know, what if I wasn't going to get eaten, I would most certainly go in there and play with them. But I would be a fair snack for them. And that guy over there in the orange shirt, he'd be like a baked dinner. Have a look at him. He'd be like a big baked dinner, mate. So, but I'd, I'd be a chew toy for these guys, let me tell you. They are, and, and, and Snow has not taken her eyes off me. She's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wow. Tell you what. There is nothing like riding my bold skateboard along a beautiful beach. Today's beach is Mollymook in New South Wales. Let's go for a spin. Oh yeah. in a little place called Golgol. Now this place is renowned and it's in New South Wales in Australia. It's renowned as being the town that is on the $10 note. This is really, really incredible and it's such a beautiful, beautiful little town. If you have the chance, come and see it. It won't take you long because it's quite small. Behind me is one of the main streets. Well, it is the main street. And across the road, we stopped at this great little pub across the road there. Can you see that pub? Absolutely awesome. So we went in there and sometimes when you go into these little country places and these little pubs, they have people that we used to call barflies. Now these are the sort of people that you go up, 
I live there if you want to. But they have so much knowledge about the local area that they've lived in and 90% of the time they've grown up here in this area. Know so much about it. Things that you would never even read in the local tourist bureau or anything like that. Truly amazing to think this is on our $10 note. How cool is that? The local pubs also have a lot of great food. Steaks, burgers, fries, you name it. Lamb cutlets, that's one of my favorite. Hey, well, we're in Scone, we slept well, we've woken up this morning, ready for work, and away we go. But a funny, funny thing happened this morning. My husband needed some tablets, right, for diarrhea. Not that he's got it, but it helps prevent it, which is these ones. Then, in the same medical pack, I have these, which are sleeping tablets. <laughs> I pulled out the sleeping tablets. They look the same, right? Like seriously, the lids and everything. Warning to others, please read labels. Lucky I didn't give it to him because he'd be pooping his pants and asleep on stage today. How would one explain that? Well, we hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you click subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Tune in on all my social media and I'll see you then. Cheers.